Okay, so in the business of energy, you eventually come to the term fusion. And fusion is like, uh, like nuclear reactors, uh, but in this case, uh, you, you actually combine atoms instead of splitting them apart. So a regular nuclear reactor takes uranium and breaks it in half. All of these fission and fusion reactions are governed by Einstein's energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. And in, in these cases where you take, in this case, which is happening just like the sun, where you're taking hydrogen, two isotopes of hydrogen, deuterium and tritium, which is they're very close to hydrogen, they're putting out helium. This is not chemistry, this is that Einstein stuff. Um, you're making a new atom, helium, and you're spitting off a neutron, which we don't know about. But this neutron is very destructive to the entire environment. It just bombards the metal. And many people are thinking that it'll never work just because of this, because it'll destroy the whole, it'll destroy the whole apparatus. Now, I, trying to search and learn about fusion, I, I found this, this site called ITER, and it's called The Way, and it's a consortium of, peop of France, U.S., Japan, and, um, and Soviet Union. It started in 1985. And lots of debating about where it's going to be located, lots of politics, and I, I tried to read a 20-page synopsis of it. It's kind of a, just an overview, and I could not understand what was going on after the third paragraph. Um, I did understand that which countries were involved. That's pretty good. I knew which, um, which city it was in. They did tell me that they're going to try to generate, to, to generate 500 megawatts, um, which is powerful, half a gig. Um, and they're going to try to run this thing for 400 seconds, uh, which is about seven minutes. And they're going to try to do that in 2015. And they're going to see, they're not going to actually, it's a, it's a heating process. So it's just like nuclear energy or coal or whatever. It's just, you heat water and of course that's steam and then it goes into a steam power plant. They're going to, they're going to try to generate 500 megawatts for 400 seconds. They're not going to actually take the, the hot water or whatever their fluid is and generate the steam. They're just going to see that they can do it. Um, the, the, okay, coming back to this, this 20 page, um, synopsis, I, I saw that the U S or I went, I went and, um, dug deeper into the funding because I, I'm not capable of understanding the physics. And I found the U S had cut funding twice and their funding levels were sub a million, a hundred million. So I think 96, 97, 98, we cut funding. And just now, in 2008, we cut $500 million. We cut it off. So these guys that are out there on this, in this project are getting the U.S. flaking out. And in, in the U.S. 2008, we funded $2 billion in clean coal. And clean coal is really, remember that sulfur dioxide? We're throwing limestone into the chimney, which is kind of a drywall. Like, it's drywall. And... It's somehow doing something with the sulfur dioxide, but that's what we're spending two billion on clean coal, just to get the word clean on the title. So we cut 500 million from this project. We've cut, we've stepped out three years, and the the funding is sub 100 million. And uh, it it just tells me that either either it's so political, which it's always possible, or the 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 rocket scientists at the DOE just don't think it's feasible. So they're writing it off. So how it works is you have a donut. It, this is a side view, but it's, it's a donut. It goes all the way around. And in the middle, you create that electric field or magnetic. You, you hold that half a gram, half a gram of uranium or of hydrogen. And you put it under immense immense electric field, elect immense amount of current, hold that thing in place, heat that, heat it up, and get 10 times the energy that you put in in electricity. So they they want it to be 5 to 10 times energy positive. Um, and so it, I guess it's a toroid. It, looked, it really just looks like a donut. 
it's got the element in the middle it's got to get it up to 100 million degrees fusion has had this joke that it's always 25 years away so for the last 25 years it's 25 years away so people don't don't really believe it it's going to happen the the doe funding kind of implies that it's not going to happen um these guys are working really hard but unless they solve that one of the complaints is that with only half a gram that's only one hour of power um, whereas a, a new a fission plant a standard break of uranium 235 apart they've got years of, of material in the plant so they can they can run it for years before they have to shut down and reload the um, reload the uranium so there's there's obstacles in every direction this thing they have a separate project just to find materials that can take the bombardment this they don't have the long-term life they don't know if it's energy positive um, really tough way beyond any any ability for me to assimilate gut feel this isn't going to be there so I'll just wrap it up and uh, um, that's all I know in fusion so next topic